from Greg Jennings. Who will sign Joe Hayden? Uh, it's a good question. Uh, Hayden, I'm a bit surprised. It's been so quiet around him. I don't think he played bad last year, but the injuries have begun to add up. He's on the wrong side of 30. The the ball production dipped this year. The yards were fine, but three touchdowns in his limited uh, reps, the limited time with injury, is a bit of a red flag, at least for me, I think for others too. So some teams I'd keep an eye out for. If you want to get wild, Cleveland? The Browns are different with Deshaun Watson now. Uh could send him back to to Cleveland and give Martin Emerson some time and trade it away Troy Hill. This, and maybe you want to go through him, that's fine. The Steelers could always bring back Joe Hayden there. And then some teams that are still in the market for quarterback help. The Ravens, I know I put three AFC North teams on there, but it does kind of make some sense. The Patriots and Cardinals still stand out to me as notable teams in the market for a veteran corner. And it's a cornerback who's still pretty good, so this list goes way beyond just these top five guys as far as I'm concerned. So what do you guys think? What team, if any, will end up signing Joe Hayden this year? Sound off. Make your predictions in the comments section. Ronnie Steeles, what up, my dog? The Steelers should sign James Bradbury. Do you agree? <clears throat> well, I actually don't think that they're going to end up doing it. And I saw a report that came out on Wednesday that said that the Steelers are no longer interested. I'm not 100% sure how much I believe that. If I'm Pittsburgh, I am trying to add as much talent as humanly possible to that secondary. Yes, they brought back Witherspoon. Witherspoon's not James whatsoever. So if if the money is right, sure, go ahead and make it happen. But I did see a report out there that they weren't interested. Brandon Kinder, is it fair to say Matthew Stafford is a top four QB? If we are trying to take what we are expecting this year out of quarterbacks... It's a little tough to, to go down that route. I think you're going to have to take Josh Allen over Matthew Stafford. I think you got to take Patrick Mahomes, maybe Russell Wilson. I, I think Stafford, because he's coming to the Super Bowl, like, really helps his stock quite a bit. There. I think you've got to take Brady, by the way, Rodgers as well. So now we're outside of the top four. I think you then start to include, he's probably in the tier of, I'm not going to anoint Herbert yet, he's in that tier. I think you're including guys like, like a Joe Burrow. Um, maybe a, a, a Wilson, I think, is probably more in that tier. Lamar Jackson, if he's not hurt and injured the entire season. I think he's one of those QBs you feel really great about as your franchise guy, even as he does begin to age, but not quite top four for me. Now, if you want the best NFL coverage on YouTube, then subscribe. YouTube.com slash chat sports TV. Let's get to 3,000 subscribers as soon as possible so we can put that little notch on our belt. Plus, you guys get free NFL videos once you subscribe for free. From Jeff Rogers, if you had one drive to win a game, Josh Allen or Mahomes? I mean, yes, to answer your question, uh, I think I'll go Mahomes since I've seen him win a title already. So out of the four teams that we see on screen right now, I have answered at least one question about every single one of these teams here on this mailbag. So out of those four, which team is the best? Is it the Baltimore Ravens type BAL? Is it the Tennessee Titans type TEN? The Pittsburgh Steelers type PIT? Is it the New Orleans Saints? Go ahead and type no. From Eastwood Satch. In your opinion, what team will jump from worst to first in their division this year? Okay, so I think Ravens have a really good shot because worst to first is a two-game swing for them. They were 8-9 last year, last in the division. That would not be outlandish. Uh, the Broncos at 7-10 and have a real chance for that. If Carolina can get a QB, which I don't know if they're going to be able to, they certainly make sense, but I would look at in particular – Denver and Baltimore as the two most likely destinations because I don't believe in the Giants, the Jags, the Jets, the Lions, or Seattle quite that much. We are also on Rumble, friends. So if you have not already, go support us over there. Free, uncensored content on that video platform. Sports from us here at Chat Sports, plus other sites have news, politics, tech, business updates as well. Give us a follow for free so we can dominate that platform. Rumble.com slash NFL Daily. 
James Heiner, which second-year QB do you think will have a jump in year two? Trevor Lawrence, Zach Wilson, or Justin Fields? Now, Bears fans are going to get pissy with, with me here. I don't think they've done enough to help, to, to help Fields. The offensive line is still not great. The receiving core is... It's mid, to be honest. I don't like it all that much. It's average at best. Uh, Zach Wilson, the Jets have invested in and given a lot of talent to. I think Lawrence is going to take the biggest jump in year two, though. I'd probably rank them jump-wise in that order. That does not mean I'm out on fields. I think it might be more of a year three breakout for him. From Alec G, sleepers for Offensive Rookie of the Year. Okay. The favorites right now uh, are Kenny Pickett, Drake London, uh, Traylon Burks as well. So some sleepers I, I don't mind. If I think we'll, let's include Brees Hall as among the favorites top four there. Uh, how about Kenneth Walker for Seattle plus 1,000? I think Burks is a favorite. How about Sky Moore plus 1,100? I think those two guys could make sense. Your, your top five, by the way, just real quick. Pickett, London, Burks, Hall, and Watson are your top five in the Rookie of the Year odds. So anyone beyond that, I'll call a sleeper there. If you want to go super-duper deep dark horse pick, um, you could go with uh, how about J- Jalen Tolbert. If the cow, if the injury problems persist at receiver for Dallas, he could be receiver two quickly for them. Decent dark horse bet there. And hell, I know he's a first. Or another, another dark horse name here. How about Trey McBride from Arizona? If Ertz gets hurt or they make McBride the starter, he could put up some big numbers in that offense. From Cujo, other than Mahomes and Allen, what other young QBs would you put in the top 10? If you want, I'll, 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 how about I'll do this? I'll group, and it might not be full-fledged 10. I'll group the young franchise guy, and, and we'll put the, uh, the age cutoff, if I can remember the actual names correctly here. Uh, we'll put the age cutoff at like, they're going to turn no older than, like, 27 this year. I think that's that's a good age cutoff there. So, like, no Russ, no, no Dak, no Kirk, et cetera. Joe Burrow's in that group. Lamar Jackson's in that group. I believe Deshaun Watson age-wise still fits that group. Let me check real quick here just to make sure I'm not doing wrong here. Yeah, Watson turns 27 this year, so perfect cutoff. No older than Deshaun Watson. I think Justin Herbert falls in that category, and that's the only other quarterback I would consider putting in there. Uh, Kyler Murray is not there yet for me. Trevor Lawrence, uh, you know, the, the other young guys, Zach Wilson, Fields, Mac Jones, Lance, et they're not there yet. So my list then of those young guys includes Herbert, Lamar, Deshaun, and Burrow. Russell Wilson, beyond the two guys you mentioned, guys like a Matt Ryan, a Dak Prescott, a Derek Carr, they're all older than that younger quarterback uh, threshold I included there. We have live mailbags for you guys here at Chat Sports, and the only way to get on the mailbags is to subscribe and watch our live shows. That kind of makes a lot of sense, right? So if you want free NFL videos every single day, make sure you guys are subscribed. YouTube.com slash Chat Sports TV.